Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 12 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp video series. And this video will be talking about creating freestyle project for .NET application and again this is a complete continuation of the previous video which is part 11 and this is part B of this continuation. So let's quickly see how to create a freestyle project for a .NET application and understand how to build and compile that particular project that we have in a GitHub. Right. So for that, I'm going to flip to our Windows 10 virtual machine right now. So this is the Windows 10 virtual machine that we have been working so long. So what I'm going to do is we have executed a few tests in our previous video series videos. So what I'm going to do is we need to have to log in because I didn't log in for a long time right now. So I'm going to log in and this time instead of touching this freestyle and cucumber pipeline project, I'm going to create a .NET project, right? So I'm going to click this new item. And again, it's pretty much the same thing. You need to choose the freestyle and just give the name here. Let's call it as .NET freestyle project, something like that, right? So I'm gonna choose this, I'm gonna hit okay. But right now, I'm really not going to show you how to work a lot with freestyle because freestyle is gonna be deprecated. I mean, it's not deprecated, but it's not being in use a lot right now. People are focusing more on pipelines than freestyle itself. Right. So again, it's going to be the same thing that we saw before. So you can see there is a project name and you have a build environment, build steps, post build actions, right? And you can specify the source management for the Git code. Again, the Git is actually available uh, over here. And if you go to the Exit Automation repositories, you have the Selenium NUnit param. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to clone this particular project so I'm going to copy this I'm going to come over here and I'm just running through very quickly because we have already discussed about these options in much greater detail in our previous videos so please go ahead and watch those videos so that you can have a clear understanding of what we are doing over here right so I'm just going to quickly run over because our focus is on something else rather showing these already discussed options so I'm going to paste this uh, git URL here for cloning and then we actually have to come over here for the build. And now comes the question. If you see in our previous videos, we use the Java project and we invoke a top level Maven target goal and we just specify compile and that worked, right? And similarly, we gave what clean, it worked. So those things are available in Jenkins out of the box. But for .NET world, Jenkins is not much happy because I guess TFS is already there and Jenkins is not happy to support .NET out of the box, but they need to have to support anyways. And that's why they have an option called execute windows batch command. This is kind of a open playground where you can specify a command which you know uh, to execute a end unit test. And it is pretty, pretty straightforward because you can just give the command like end unit and then you can just specify the DLL file, it executes the test. Similarly, if you want to do some compilation, then you can just specify that and you can perform the operation, right? But the first thing we need to do before doing a testing is to compile the project, but we don't have a compilation yet. So how to do that, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna save this for now. As you can see, all this .NET project can be compiled using what is called as a MS build plugin. So MS build plugin is a different plugin altogether. So if you come over here, if I just type MS build plugin for Jenkins, there we go. Somehow it's coming. And now if I go over here, you can see that this is the most active plugin, meaning it is in development and people are using it. You can see so many people are downloading it each and every month. So we can use this, right? So MS build plugin we can just search for it and we can install it. Again, to install a plugin, we have to go to the dashboard and manage Jenkins. And here we can go to plugins and go to the available and just search for MS build, right? So we have an MS build plugin here, which is not installed yet. So I'm gonna install it the restart and you can see that it is gonna install a particular plugin for us right now, right? It is success. Let me log out and log in back so that it will be refreshed with this plugin. So now you can go to your, what is called as a manage Jenkins once again. And here there is something called as a 
global tool configuration. Remember, these are something which we discussed in our part two of our video series, right? Part two and part three of this video series. We discussed how to configure the tools for the for the Maven and all those things. Similarly, right now we have something called as MS Build this time. MS Build is something which is an explicit tool. It is not available out of the box and you need to tell where this MS Build is actually available. Do you have an MS Build right now? Of course not. We don't have an MS Build right now. So we need to install this MS Build. And I don't really have a Visual Studio installed in my machine, this virtual machine yet. So I need to somehow have this MS Build. Again, where is this MS Build available? Chocolatey is the answer. So if you just go to the chocolatey.org and if you just go to the packages link and then if you search for what is called as an MS build and hit search, you can see that there will be a Microsoft build tool. That's exactly what I required, right? So I can just take, the, I don't really have to take the extension pack yet because that's not important for me right now. So I can just copy this command and then I can go to the PowerShell or whatever, you can even search or perform this operation in your command prompt if you want and just right click and run as administrator and you can just paste this command and hit enter. So this will install the MS build tool for you in this machine, right? So if, even if you don't have Visual Studio installed in your machine, no problem. You can just install your MS build into this machine. So once it, the installation is done, you can start making use of this MS build for your project and that will start compiling your project. And that's what is most important thing. So first thing you need to have is MS build and then you need to have a NuGet package and then you need to have a AnyNet package tool which can be used to compile your test. So these are the three most important tool required for your .NET application to be built and compiled. So right now it is downloading a file from the URL specified. The downloading is done and then it is gonna start the installation, I guess. Yep, see, you can see that the installation is starting and you can see that it is a kind of silent installation. It is not asking me where to install all these things. It's doing everything automatically and you can see that it is gonna install that. I guess it's gonna install me this MS build under program files and there is something called as Microsoft uh, build tool or something like that. Yep, MS build. Uh, I think this bin. Uh, we have this MS build, I guess. Yep, there we go. You can see there is a MS build.exe and this exe is what I require for my uh, for my global tool configuration. I can specify the MS build over here. If I specify this in the environment variable, I don't really even have to specify that over here right so let the installation is completely done once the installation is done I'll be back all right seems like the installation is over right now and it is installed as well so now if I just go back here and let's go to the MS build 14 bin and you can see that under this bin folder we have this MS build so let me copy this path quickly and let's go over here and just paste this guy right so, oops, sorry. I just have to give a name here. Let's call this as MS build local. And this is the path. So path doesn't, I mean, path should have MS build as well, right? So you can specify this. It will tell you that the C colon program files MS build not as a directory, so but perhaps it exists uh, on some other agent. Of course it is there. So, yep, you can specify that. And I'm gonna hit save. Right, there we go. So we have saved it, and now if I go back to my dashboard here for the .NET Freestyle project, and if I go to the configuration, and if I come down this time, if I click this Add Build stuff, you can see we have a Build a Visual Studio project or solution using MS Build, and this is happening because we have installed a MS Build plugin, right? So I'm going to select that, and you can see that the version is specified as default. You can select the one which you given a name, MS Build Local, right? In your global config. So I'm going to choose that, and MS Build build file. Do you, if you have any build file, you can specify that. Our build file is nothing but our solution file. So what is our solution file name? If we know that, we can give that. You can see here, the solution file name is this one, 
right? Selenium in unit params dot SLN. So I'm gonna just copy this, I'm gonna paste it over here, and then I'm gonna save it, All right? So this is not the complete configuration yet. We have just did a build, but the build is gonna fail because it is gonna require you a NuGet package manager as well. So if you don't really believe me what I'm really talking about, what we can do is, I'm just gonna hit save once again, and then if I do a build, you can see that this time during the build operation is happening, it will tell you an error stating the NuGet reference is not yet added. There we go. Here you can see the assembly reference for the framework were not resolved. You need to install the SDK. Oh, okay. I need to have one more problem here because uh, we don't have a .NET framework version 4.5.2 yet in this machine. And that's why this error is coming. And there will be one more error, which is going to be the uh, NuGet package assembly reference. So we don't have these two errors. So we need to resolve these two before executing this. That's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for completing this whole video.